standings. This season, the Warhawks are picked to finish third in the preseason poll and also place two, two student-athletes on preseason teams in Majok Dang on the second team and Nick Coppola on the third team. Uh, Coach Richard, please give us your thoughts on last season and this season before we get to questions. Well, really pleased how, uh, you know, last season uh, ended in terms of making uh, postseason play the CBI tournament. Uh, as you mentioned, finished tied for second in the league, which was a, a jump for us, you know, over the last four or five years. And and uh, we're able to uh, get into some postseason play and uh, made a run to the, the finals of the, of the tournament. And uh, really – uh, happy about uh, our student involvement, our community involvement, uh, and and just the uh, opportunity to play more games uh, in the postseason tournament. It was really a great experience, uh, and we had a lot of fun with it, and uh, uh, which was very encouraging uh, leading into this year because uh, we have four starters returning uh, off that team, even though we lost our best player the first team all-conference pick in Tairangwa, uh, but four starters returning and six guys who, who uh, really played uh, a, good, a good bit of minutes last year, nine guys total in our pro- program returning. Uh, we added four newcomers to this year's team. So, you know, we're looking, uh, looking forward to try and uh, build off last season and uh, see if we can uh, put – you know, two good back-to-back seasons in a row. Thank you very much, Keith. As a reminder, please press star one to get in the queue to ask questions. Our first questions come from Adam Hunsaker with the new star in Monroe, Louisiana. Call, or Adam, please go ahead. Hey, Keith, how's it going? Good. Hey, um, I wanted to ask you about, about this going into the season. I guess, it, you know, it's, it's a little different now this year. Um, now there's that, you know there's some expectations around the program that that you haven't had in the past coming off the last year and you know what, what's that been like like as a program how have the guys responded to that? Well, I, uh, you know we after uh, being so down for you know numerous years, uh, you know having ac- expectations while while many would think it uh, that would you know. Uh, put some pressure on us or whatever. It, it doesn't really, uh, because uh, you know it's, it, it feels good to uh, have you know so many re- returning guys back. It feels good that the other coaches think that uh, uh, in our league, you know, think that uh, we have an op- a chance to have a good a good team uh, by their preseason pick by. The, having a couple of guys on the preseason all conference team and you know, while it means nothing necessarily in how it how it's gonna end up, it does it is a change in, in direction for us uh, about how we are perceived. And and so, you know, we kinda welcome uh the expectation is the expectation. It feels good to be uh, you know, thought of in a positive light. Uh yeah. you know, and, and, and so uh uh, it's not a it's it's not a problem. It's not a, it's not something that you know we're concerned about. It actually feels pretty good to have those kind of thoughts uh, about our our program right now, as opposed to the way it was. You know, those, and those newcomers you got coming in, and though you were excited about this recruiting class, you you were able to put together. Um, you know, who so far is kind of standing out on the floor, and are you consciously optimistic about how much some of those guys could play this year? <clears throat> well, as, uh, you know, I've made this comment here and pre- previously, uh, you know, in the past four or five years, we'd have newcomers come in, and they would all be better than our returning players, even though we had, if we had some returning players, the new players would be, uh, you know, by and large, better than than the returning players. And this year has been just the opposite. Uh, our returning players uh, look very good. They look very experienced, and that's a good thing in in our in our uh, uh, 
program right now. That's really how it should be. Your returning players, you know, should be good players and, and uh, experienced guys. And so we that's kind of what we got going on. We're very excited about uh, our four newcomers, uh, even though our, our returning players have been a, you know, a, a step above uh, uh, those guys in, in the way they look. With the, uh, the new guys, you know, Travis Munnings, who was probably of the four the, you know, the most highly kind of touted guy, uh, he's looked he's looked the best uh, so far uh, uh, out of the four. Uh, he's he's uh, uh, he stepped right in and and you know played well in practice. He's he's a very consistent player day in and day out. He's he's uh, he's not a highlight guy that uh, uh, just kind of wows you uh, with his with his play. You, you go back and look at what happened there in practice every day, and and Travis has been real, very, very consistent. Uh, uh, you know, he scores it a little bit, he rebounds it a little bit, he gets some steals, he gets some blocks. He's he's really kind of been a a, a very, very consistent player, which uh, uh, I think allows him to uh, you know to play probably you know more than than the other new guys early on uh, after Travis. Uh, uh, Wade Martin, uh, a young man that uh, uh, we got out of Virginia, a Virginia prep school. Uh, you know, we brought in here to uh, hopefully provide some uh, some shooting for us, some three point shooting. Uh, he's had some good days, and uh, you know, I can see him on down the line as he gets used to Division One play. Uh, you know, possibly helping us uh, uh, from the three point line. Uh, uh, you know, maybe a good bit at times, and uh, those two uh, have have stood out. Uh, Marcus Washington and uh, Ramsey Satterfield has also had some good days. Uh, very happy with uh, all four of them, uh, but I think you know Travis stands out, and uh, and and Wade probably after him uh, will be able to help us out. I can appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much, Adam. Uh, we have time for one more question from Dan McDonald with McD Media. Dan, please go ahead. Morning, Coach. Uh, Morning. What's the, what's the biggest difference in Dang's game as maybe a year ago or a couple years ago? Well, it's interesting that you mentioned him, and when I talk about returning players, he he he's the first one to really talk about uh you know, I, I'm hoping that what I've seen so far, you know, plays out in in the season and in conference play. But he's been outstanding in 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 our practices. His confidence has uh, soared from last year. Uh, you know, he really played well in the second half of conference play last year. Uh, he, he became more consistent and had some. Some uh, some good games, and that's really carried over into the summer, and then now here in the fall, uh, and it's really his confidence. It, it uh, uh, he's really really playing well. He's scoring the ball well uh, in practice. Uh, his his percentages of shooting the ball are outstanding. He just looks like a a uh, a much improved player on top of what he did last year. And uh, it's been exciting to watch, to be honest with you, uh, to watch him from, you know, we got him out of junior college, and he didn't play very much in junior college. He played behind some uh, players that went to some BCS schools. And so uh, uh, to watch him from there to where he is now uh, has really been tremendous. I really hope he can, <laughs> he can, you know, show during the season what uh, what he's been showing us in practice right now. It's been it's been it's been fun to watch. Appreciate it, Coach. Okay. Thank you very much, Dan, and thank you, Keith. We appreciate your time today. That's all the questions we have.